Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. Well, guys, the time has finally arrived. The long-awaited Wave 8 of McFarlane Superpowers is finally open for pre-order. And uh, full disclosure, I am recording this video before the pre-orders open to make sure I can have this video up before everything sells out. So hopefully I'm getting this video up before that happens and you guys are able to click the links that are down in the description and get your pre-orders in before everything sells out. So hopefully this works. Let me know guys down in the comments if you were able to get yours. And this video should be up if all goes according to plan as soon as those pre-orders drop and I get those links in the description. So uh, check the description for anything that I might say in this video that is incorrect. The description will have all of the correct information in it and anything that isn't, we'll follow up with a community post after. And we'll walk through all of the figures again if you haven't seen our past videos on Wave 8, any of the leaks or anything like that when those first hit or any of our community posts or you're not following us on Instagram. You may not have seen all of the photos and official images that have been coming out over the last few weeks. So we'll walk through all of the figures in this video, take a look at what is going to be available to you guys. So we'll go ahead and start with the Dark Knight Returns Batman. And as we speculated in the leaked video, this is a repaint of the Wave 1 Hush Batman. So unfortunately, it's using that body style that I know a lot of us aren't a big fan of, Sometimes it works better than others, but uh, in this case, for me, and we'll save most of our opinions for when we you know, get these figures and do a full unboxing and review, but what I'm seeing in these official images that it didn't look like in some of the images from Phoenix Fan Fusion, this is actually a very dark blue and gray Batman, and I was kind of hoping this would be a black and gray, and I know there's a black and gray Batman on tap for Wave 9, I am hoping that's classic detective and not using this mold again, but I was actually hoping this one would be black and gray as well. That does not appear to be the case. So this one for me is not as good as I think it could have been, even with that, you know, wave one hush body. Fits better for the Dark Knight Return style Batman than the classic detective would have. But was really kind of hoping, I think a lot of you guys were too, for a, a new mold for this one, maybe something bigger, a little bulkier. That's not what we got. That said, the paint job on it looks fairly good. I, it kind of almost reminds me of Batfleck uh, from the BVS and Snyderverse. Kind of looks, gives me that kind of aesthetic to it, uh, more so than Dark Knight Returns. But Batfleck was heavily based on the Dark Knight Returns, so I guess it kind of fits. Not a terrible looking figure, not my favorite in this wave, but we'll save the final judgment for when we have those in hand and can do an unboxing. Next, we have the Superman that is based off of Max Fleischer. And again, this is just a straight repaint. Again, you know, and we'll save full opinions for in hand unboxing and review, but just based on the pictures, a little bit disappointing that they didn't at least, you know, do some tweaking on the face, maybe the eyes to really fit that Max Fleischer mold, shorten that cape up a little bit. Can't tell from the images that I have on hand at the time of recording if there is an S on the back of the cape or not, but if we're staying true to Max Fleischer, shouldn't have one. Um, possibly by the time you guys are watching this video, you'll have seen an official image and know whether or not that's the case but I think that cape could have been a little bit shorter. I think that uh, head, or at least the eyes, could have had some retooling done that would have made this a little bit better. That paint job looks really good though, and I really like the colors of the Max Fleischer Superman, one of my favorite looks for Superman. So not at all upset at this figure, I just think maybe it could have been better and was really kind of hoping this would be the figure that introduced a new Superman mold, just because for Max Fleischer, that, that classic style would have looked so good. But Hey, I really do uh, like the Max Fleischer Superman, and I think this is a decent looking version of the Max Fleischer Superman in the superpower style. But I'm really hoping for that new Superman mold very soon. We hope that's what we're gonna see in Wave 9 with the Superman Classic. But again, we save full judgment until we have them in hand. Sometimes the pictures don't do these things justice until you see them in hand in that classic superpowers packaging. Now we get into the good stuff, and we have Guy Gardner Green Lantern. Uh, this looks very cool, looks very Guy Gardner, very classic Guy Gardner. The only thing that's missing, 
no lantern. Don't know why Guy doesn't get a lantern. Don't know why Kilowog didn't get a lantern. Um, but I guess, you know, the, the thing is you can share lanterns with Hal Jordan and pass it over to Guy. He does have the open hand so he can hold one. Looks really, really good. And I'm excited to get this one in hand and do the full unboxing and review on this one because I feel like this could be one of our favorites of the line so far. And speaking of potential favorites, the next one in line is Booster Gold. We all knew he was coming as far back as Wave 7 when we saw him on the back of the bug packaging. So we we're very much expecting this one, and based on the photos, does not disappoint. This looks like a great rendition of Booster Gold. Very classic looking Booster Gold will look great with the Blue Beetle that we got in Wave 7, and he will look great co-piloting the bug with Blue Beetle. So I think this one is gonna be another of our favorites uh, from the line so far, just based on the images. But again, you know, full unboxing and review, we'll have to take a look at that when we get them in hand. And finally, we have Metamorpho, and we didn't see Metamorpho in the Phoenix Fan Fusion event that Todd McFarlane hosted a while back, where we saw some of our first images of Wave 8, so we weren't sure at that time, hey, is Metamorpho going to be part of Wave 8? Is he not? Well, he certainly is. Another figure that, me personally, I'm not a huge fan of Metamorpho, but I'm glad to see a new character coming to the Superpowers line, and he looks very classic Superpowers. Colors are great, colors are vibrant. The card art is a bit of a mystery. Looks like he dressed up nice for picture day, so he's got his pants on for that card art. Little bit of a head scratcher there, but uh, certainly not a deal killer at all for this figure. Looks great, excited to take a look at it in hand and have a new character to add to the Superpowers collection. And now we have the gold label exclusives. Now, of course, we have that black suit variant Batman packaged with the black Whirly Bat and black Batwing that we saw released as an Amazon exclusive a couple of months ago. That is still scheduled to be shipped July 26th or so according to Amazon. We do have a video on that if you didn't get a chance to get your pre-orders in go check that out. I'll also link that in the description. That does not look like it's actually officially part of Wave 8 even though it was listed with the Wave 8 leaks. So the other gold label that we're seeing in Wave 8 is a Trinity three pack. That's Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. They are painted black and white or kind of grayscale with pops of color in the logos based on the packaging. Now guys, I actually haven't seen the official images of the figures yet as of the recording of this video. So hopefully I'll have those images available before this goes live, but I do have the packaging and gotta say this packaging looks incredible, though it is not like the other Superpowers packaging. So it's a very special kind of black, silver, red color scheme that you don't see with the other Superpowers. Kind of wondering, again, as of the recording of this video, I haven't seen what's inside. Kind of wondering if you pop that open and you get kind of the classic Superpowers packaging inside of that. Um, but that said, I love what this looks like. I think it looks great. Um, again, haven't seen the figures yet as of the recording of this video, but maybe they're new molds. Most likely these are going to be repainted versions of the Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman we've seen before. But either way, limited to 5,100 pieces, this is probably going to be a fairly coveted collectible for Superpowers fans. So hopefully you guys are able to get in on that pre-order quickly. It is a McFarland Toy Store exclusive, so that's the only place you'll be able to find this one, at least at pre-order. Otherwise, you're probably gonna be looking at third party later. So guys, there's your Wave 8. It is available for pre-order. Again, check all of those links down in the description. We will have links for most of the places that will be selling this. The places, of course, that we recommend the most, those will be down in the description below. We will do an additional community post after this video goes live for additional images that were not available at the time of recording. I am really hopeful I got this video up in time so that you were able to take advantage of some of those pre-orders. I know it has been such a challenge to get these videos done and out before the pre-orders are sold out or some of the bundles are sold out. So I'm hoping by recording ahead of time, I'm helping you guys out. Please let me know down in the comments if this did help and we will certainly try to do this going forward as best we can with the information we have available at the time. We do post early access images and updates on our Instagram and in community posts here on YouTube all the time. So if you're not following us on Instagram or you're not subscribed yet to the channel, please consider doing both. Following us on Instagram and hitting that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of those updates, any of our videos, 
hit the bell notification so you get notified when we post something new and we will keep bringing you updates as we receive them. So wave nine, we will definitely be keeping our eyes out. We have a good idea what's coming in wave nine thanks to the leaks we received about a month ago. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out. All of our past McFarland videos and other action figure videos will be linked below in the description as well in the Go Figure playlist. So if you've missed any of those or you wanna go check out the back catalog, this is your first time here, please feel free to do so in that Go Figure playlist. And next step is getting Wave 8 in hand so that we can do our full unboxing and review as we always do. And if you haven't seen any of our past unboxings and reviews, you can go check those out in that Go Figure playlist as well, all part of the back catalog. And again, all of those links to get your pre-orders in for Wave 8 are down below. So take a look at those and we will update those as well as more become available. So keep checking back in that description or in our community post, we will provide updates if things sell out or other retailers get things that they didn't have before, we'll update all of that as well. We hope we got this up in time and that you were able to see it early enough to get your pre-orders in this time. Let us know down below if you did, and we will catch you guys in the next one.